So question number one is divide the polynomial px by the polynomial jx and find the quotient and remainder of each of the following. Okay, here we are given two polynomials. One is px equals to this and jx equals to this. So we will divide this px by jx. So in the same way we do division process of numbers, we will do first we will write this dividend. So this is the dividend and we'll divide by this divisor x square minus 2 and we'll find the quotient and the remainder. So here what you need to do is first you divide this one, this first term by this first term, okay, x cube by x square. So what we will get it is x cube by x square is x because see x into x into x by x into x we'll cut this to it we'll get this x so after dividing x cube by x square you get x so we'll divide the whole of this x square minus 2 we'll multiply x square minus 2 into x okay x square minus 2 into x x cube minus 2x so we will write this here okay x square minus 2 x square minus 2 into x is this so x square minus 2 into x is x square um, x cube minus 2x so you write x cube minus 2x you write here because the term is say 2x minus 2x So now what you will do, see x cube, oh, I, it is x cube. So x cube by x cube will cut and we'll get 0 here and here we will get minus 5x and minus and minus is plus. See in every division you, you do here minus, that's why I've taken here minus plus 5x and minus and minus plus 2x becomes 7x okay 7x and you bring this one here minus 3x square this is plus 7x minus 3 so for this now for this polynomial again we will uh, divide by this see this first term and the first term again like before see 3 minus 3 x square by this x square what you get minus 3 so we will multiply the whole of this by minus 3 minus 3 into x square minus 2 we get minus 3 x square minus and minus plus 3 to the 6 so we get minus 3 x square plus 6 so x square minus 2 x square minus 2 into minus 3 you get minus 3 x square plus 6 you write below the constant term so what you get here minus this is minus and this is minus and minus plus so these two cuts off because one is minus and one is plus plus th minus 3 x square by plus 3 x square this cuts and you do not get you get 0 here now what remains 7 x and this is minus plus and minus is minus minus 6 minus 3 you get 6 7 8 9 minus because the bigger number is 6 which is minus it is minus 9 the same way you'll do again by 7x minus 9 by x square can you do it see 7x first you see the first term and this first term 7x by x square you cannot cut because this is bigger okay so this is the remainder because 
the divisor has to be smaller but this is bigger that's why this is the remainder so 7x minus 9 is the remainder and this is the quotient so quotient equals to x minus 3 and remainder you get as 7x minus 9 i hope this is clear to you so to make it clear i'll explain you that the answer is right or wrong by c this you don't need to do here but for your clear understanding i'm doing here dividend we know in every division dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder so divisor into quotient plus remainder you will get this dividend so you got this here as c what is divisor divisor is this divisor is x square minus 2 so we'll put here and if we get this answer then it is the answer is correct divisor x square minus 2 into quotient what is the quotient x minus 3 plus r 7x minus 9 okay now you see this 2 multiplies first you multiply this with this x square into x minus 3 and again minus 2 into x minus 3 plus 7x minus 9 now what is this 2 x cube minus 3x square minus 2x minus and minus plus 6 plus 7x minus 9 now how many x square here see this 2 x square x square into x or oh, x cube x cube sorry it is x cube x cube how many x square here one you write in the descending order 3 x square how many x here this 2 7 x minus 2 x is plus 5 x because the greater number is plus now what remains the constant term minus 9 plus 3 is 9 minus 6 is 3 9 minus 6 is 3 now you got this see that's why this is correct okay now we'll do question number 2 so number 2 is px equals to x to the power 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 which is to be divided by the divisor gx x square plus x minus x okay I will write this px x to the power 4 here you see we have x to the power 4 and then x square so we'll keep a place for the term x to the power 3 which is x cube we'll keep one place here minus 3 x square plus 4 x plus 5 now we'll write this one we will write the decre uh, in decreasing order of the terms x square minus x plus 1 okay we will keep the constant term at the last now in the same way we will divide x to the power 4 by x square so what we get is x square so now we will multiply this x square into this whole term x square minus x plus 1 which is x to the power 4 minus x square into x is x cube plus x square into 1 is x square so we have this now x square minus x plus minus plus 1 into x square I'll write this term a little above so x square into x square minus x plus 1 is x to the power 4 we'll write x cube here plus x square okay
now this is minus so plus and plus and minus is minus so minus and minus plus and minus cuts off now what remains here <coughs> minus and minus is plus so we have x cube here one minus plus and minus is minus so minus and minus is plus which is minus 3 plus 1 is 4 x square now we'll bring these two terms here 4 x plus 5 now we'll again divide this x cube by this x square so we have x x square into x is x cube now we'll multiply this x into x square minus x plus 1 which you get as x square into x is x cube minus x square plus x so x square minus x plus 1 plus x is x cube minus x square plus x now again we'll subtract so plus and minus cuts off minus and plus is minus minus plus minus which is 3 x square and now this is plus and minus is minus so 4 minus 1 is 3 x plus 5 again we'll multiply divide 3 x square by this x square which is 3 which is minus 3 now minus 3 into x square minus x plus 1 is minus 3 x square minus and minus is plus 3 x minus and plus is minus minus 3 so into minus 3 we have minus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 3 so now plus and minus cuts off minus and this is plus minus and minus is plus so minus and plus is minus and this one this two also cuts off and we have here minus and minus is plus so 5 plus 3 is 8 so we have this as the um, quotient and 8 as the remainder okay so quotient is <coughs> x square plus x minus 3 and remainder is 8 now we will see divid dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder whether this is correct or not so what is the divisor this is the divisor x square plus 1 minus x into what is the quotient x square plus x minus 3 plus remainder is r so we will prove that this is correct x square into this whole term x square plus x minus 3 now plus 1 into x square plus x minus 3 minus x into the remainder is 8 x square plus x minus 3 and the last one plus 8 so we have x to the power 4 plus x square into x x cube minus 3 x square plus x square plus x minus 3 minus x cube minus x square minus and minus plus 3 x plus 8. So we have how many x to the power 4 only 1 we have x to the power 4 
Now x cube, how many x cube? This x cube and this x cube cuts off. So we have only x square now. How many x square? Plus x square and minus x square minus plus and minus cuts off. So we have only minus 3x square. Then what remains? x is 1x plus 3x, 4x plus 4x and 8 minus 3 is 5. Now see after doing this we got this dividend which is the dividend in given in the question. So this is clear to you. I hope this is clear to you. So the remaining one you can do yourself in the same way. So thank you and goodbye.